What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Hancho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. If you're a fan of the Las Vegas Raiders and want to support this channel, please subscribe. And also, check out RaiderHoncho.com and go pick you up some merch. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Raider Hancho. Now, do you want to know who I would pick at 17 if I was John Gruden and Las Vegas Raiders? Well, you have come to the right spot because this is my mock draft 3.0 first official draft Post free agency. Now I know some of y'all out there are like, well, free agency ain't even over, Hancho. It don't gotta be over. I can already tell from here that we need to address the offensive line and the defensive backfield in this upcoming draft, and we're gonna get right to it right now, okay? We all know I love value picks, I love production, so if I can trade back to get more picks, I will, but I will absolutely make it a priority to address the secondary and the offensive line, so let's get right into it. I'm starting the draft right now. It's flying already. We're going to see what's on the board for us, who's going to drop, who's going to be right here. And what do you know? Trayvon Merrick is not here. Trayvon Merrick was drafted 11 by the Giants. Can you believe that? He went 11 by the Giants. So Caleb Farley's on the board. Christian Barmar's on the board. Christian Darasaw, the tackle from Virginia Tech, is on the board. I am going to pass on all three of those. I am going to trade my 17th pick for the 21st pick. And the 54th from the Colts, let's see if they like it. Let's see if they'll do it. Let's see if they'll do it. Okay, so we have a deal with the Colts. I traded away number 17 and 200, and in return I got 21, 54, and 165. Not a bad deal for me. Now I am at 21. I am at 21, and Caleb Farley is dropping. That man is dropping. Oh my goodness. He is still on the board, and I am going to have to pass on him. I'm going to have to pass on him. I don't want him. He's too injury prone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draft the tackle from Virginia Tech, Christian Darasaw, with the 21st overall pick, and that's what's going to happen. Now I got my tackle. Let me write this down because this is going to be epic. I can already feel it. I got my tackle. Tackle in the books. I need a free safety. I need a free safety. You know who's on the board right now at 48? Jackson Carmen is there. Um, Travis Entertine is there. I can't say his name, but he's the running back from Clemson. Who wants to trade with me? I'm at 48. Somebody wants to trade at 50. Somebody wants to trade at 50. I trade you my 48. I want 81 and 123. I'll give you my 167. No, they ain't taking. You know what? You know what? You know what? You called me for the trade. I didn't want the trade. They called me. So you know what? Traders off the book. Traders off the board. I'm going to draft my safety right now, and I'm going to go draft Richie Grant, UCF. I got my safety. So we got a tackle, and we got our free safety off the board. Let's go. I just stopped the draft by accident. Let's go. Let's go. Now you already know what else I need, right? I need a guard, and I need a corner that can play in the slot. But you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do, Raider Nation? Right now, I don't care about this trade. Who's trying to trade anyway? The Washington football team? Y'all ain't even got no damn name. I'm not trading with you. There's no trades going down. At 54, I am going to pick cornerback, Georgia, Tyson Campbell. Let's get it. He is a Las Vegas Raider. Now I got my cornerback. We rolling. We rolling. I got a starting safety and a starting caliber corner. We can move Arnett into the slot if he don't want to get down. It's either get down or lay down. I'm not playing right now. Okay? I'm not playing right now. So at 79, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go look at the tackles again. They ain't a tackle I need right now. I already got me a tackle. Let's go see the guards. Let's go see. So I got 79 and 80 right here on the board. Let's go see the guards. Uh-huh. What the guards showing me? Let's go. 79? Nah, I'm not going there with 79. I'm amped right now. I'm amped right now. This is going. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. I am going to add a little depth at linebacker. I think linebacker is a little thin right now. But you know what? I'm not going to go linebacker yet because I can get linebacker late. I'm going to add depth to that edge rush. And I'm going to go get edge rusher from Texas, Joseph Osai. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Edge rush. Boom. Cleveland, Max, I got y'all some help. Yannick, we, we stack. Now we can run any type of package we want. We can run any type of package we want. Now I'm going to go look. I'm going to go grab me a guard. 
I'm going to go look for Ben Cleveland right now. Ben Cleveland, guard from Georgia. This man is an absolute monster. 6'6", 335. He hasn't given up one sack since being in Georgia. He hasn't given up one sack since being in Georgia. Welcome to Las Vegas. You can protect Carr. We're part of the new progressive car insurance plan. Ben Cleveland, you're a Vegas Raider. Let's go. I got to tackle a guard. What are y'all talking about? What are the haters talking about out there? Hotcho don't do his homework. Huh? Now I'm at 121. Who wants to trade with me? Somebody want to trade? Tampa Bay? Hell no. I ain't messing with y'all. Y'all traded for our coach back in the day and they beat us in the Super Bowl because y'all knew all the plays? I'm not dealing with y'all. I'm not dealing with y'all. But you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go get me a linebacker right now. Do I, got, I didn't get a backer. I'm going to go get me a linebacker right now. Oh, I feel like there's going to be a sleeper right there. If I can get Dylan Moses right now, he ain't, I don't think he's going to fall that far, though. If I can get Dylan Moses right now, I don't think he's going to fall that far. Nah, he didn't. He didn't. I like K.J. Britt. I don't need to get him right now. You know what, guys? You know what? I'm going to do something that's not that popular. I'm going to do something that's not that popular. I'm going to do it. I don't know. Uh, who wants to trade it? Maybe I could trade. You know what? You know what, Tampa Bay? I am going to trade you. I'm going to trade you my 121. I'll give you. I want 137 back and 176. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Tampa Bay. Appreciate it. Because I'm not reaching for nobody. I'm not reaching for nobody. I'm not reaching. Now, I'm going to make an unpopular pick right now, but I don't care. We need a red zone threat. We need somebody tall that can make plays. We need the next Julio Jones. Well, I'm going to tell you who it is because I know you ain't heard of him. Jonathan Adams Jr. from Arkansas State. Let's get to it. 6'3", 220. All he does is catch touchdowns. In 2020, he had 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns in 10 games. Let's go. I'm making him a Raider right now. I'm making him a And you might say, well, we got wide receivers. John Brown's on a one-year deal. Zay Jones on a one-year deal. Let's bring this guy in and make him a Raider right now. Let's go. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Got me in here sweating. Are they kidding me? <clears throat> now, at 120, at, what am I, at 162? I'm going to see if, I, if a linebacker is still there available for me because I got 162 and 165. So I'm going to go see if there's a linebacker available for me. Yes, KJ Britt is there. I think he'll still be there at one. So I'm going to go right now. Right now, what am I going to do? I'm going to go get me a backup safety because we have no depth at safety. I'm going to go get Richard LeCount. Georgia, safety, let's go. I don't know how he fell all the way down here. I, I don't know how he fell this far. I don't know how he fell this far. Richard LeCount is going to be our backup safety. Now, I'm back on the board at 165. And I'm going to add a little depth to linebacker. I'm going to add us a little bit of depth to linebacker. And I'm going to go draft K.J. Britt. Let's get money. And I'm right back on the clock at 167. I had 162, 165, and 167 because of the trades I made. That's because of the trades I made. Okay? Whoo wee. We killing it right now. I do look, I'm look, don't it ain't past me to draft a backup quarterback either. Don't think I won't draft a backup quarterback. Alright, so we got a linebacker. Let's go see if I can go get me another tackle. Because you can never have enough of them. Let's go see if I can get me another tackle real quick. Let's go see. I'm going to go see if I can get me another tackle. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And yes, I will. Brendan James from Nebraska. Somebody I've been looking at. Sleeper guy. I'm definitely picking him, okay? Tackle from Nebraska. He's 6'6", 300 pounds. I, I, I really like this guy. I really like this guy. Let's make him a Raider. So we got two tackles. We got a guard. Now with the last pick in the draft at 176, I'm going to take a look at the guards real quick. I'm going to take a look at the guards, and then I'm going to go take a look at running backs. <sighs> so Darius Hutchinson, he's still there from South Carolina. I like him, 6'4", 320. Super good. Super good. All right, but let me go look at the running backs to see if there's some, If I can go steal somebody real quick. At 176, my last pick of the draft, let's see if I can go steal somebody. I could get Sedarius. You know what, though? There's a quarterback that I think is low-key nice that nobody has been drafting. And I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Philip Franks. That's what I'm talking about. Philip Franks. It might be Felipe. I don't remember. But I know I used to watch him at Florida. And then I think he transferred to Arkansas. And this is a guy. 
He's not a dual threat. He's a pro style quarterback, but he he he's a he's a player, man. You're talking about 6'6, 230 pounds. This is a guy that 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 can sit behind Derek Carr and really and really get to know how to run this offense. And that's a guy, Marcus Mariota's on a one-year deal. He's probably not gonna be here that long. You got uh what to do with the long neck? Uh Nathan Peterman, right? So I just mean like you don't know. I'm gonna take Phillip Franks at 176. And that's going to be my draft. That's going to be my draft right there, guys. Let me know what you think. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this draft. PFF is going to grade me. If they wild out on this, if they try to give me some flugazi grade, they better not, yo. They better not, yo. That, I think that was a good draft. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. Oh, they already hating. They already hating. They hating. They hating. They hating. They hating. But they still gave the boy an A+. Plus. You know what it is? Oh, no, no, I'm wilding. I'm wilding. They gave me an A-. minus. My bad, my bad, my bad. I got too excited. They gave me an A+, plus for the Philip Franks uh, draft pick. So, yeah, that's what it is, guys. I drafted Christian Darisol, Richie Grant, Tyson Campbell, Joseph O.C., Ben Cleveland, Jonathan Adams Jr., Richard LeCount, KJ Britt, Brendan James, and Philip Franks. They gave me an A minus. Let me know what you think. I'll try to post this into the uh, video so you can see what it is. And I'm going to also work on trying to share my screen on the next one. But that's it for the Raider Honcho Draft 3.0. I'm excited. I'm sweating. I need a greater raid. Until the next time, Raider Honcho out.